My name is Kim McGrail, and I'm an assistant professor at the School of Population and Public Health and associate director of the Center for Health Services and Policy Research at UBC. I'm also an expert with evidencenetwork.ca. One of the greatest myths we have in healthcare, at least in healthcare expenditures, is that aging is the absolute um, most important culprit for the increase in healthcare expenditures, and it's actually not the case. Aging does have an impact on healthcare expenditures, but all of the studies that have been done over the last 20 or 30 years show that aging alone accounts for a very small proportion of healthcare increases. It, it will increase expenditures by somewhere between 0.5 and 1 percent per year. Um, there are many other things that are driving healthcare costs, um, but aging really isn't it. So the overarching question is what exactly is causing our increase in healthcare expenditures? population of Canada is increasing and if there's more people we can expect to spend more money in health care so that's a given and that we can take that for granted. Another factor is that um, there's inflation so things that cost a dollar ten years ago might cost a dollar twenty or a dollar thirty now and that's true in health care as it is elsewhere. And a final reason is changes in utilization or another way that people talk about this is changes in, in the intensity of service that people receive. And there what I mean is that the average 50-year-old or 65-year-old or 80-year-old now just receives more services than they did 10 or 15 years ago. And we've done some research recently that's looked at just a physician service uh, sector in British Columbia. And what we found is that utilization is increasing because uh, a slightly larger proportion of the population is seeing physicians, um, but they're quite more likely to be seeing medical specialists and they're far more likely to be receiving referrals for laboratory and imaging services like CAT scans and MRIs and that's even more pronounced in the older population. So if you take all of those things and combine them, that's what's really driving the utilization. The, the topic of aging and its effect on healthcare is complex because there isn't an easy, simple answer to it. If the effect of aging on health care was what everybody believed, then that would be easy to understand. People get older, they use more services, and that's what's bankrupting the system. It's complex because that's not untrue, but the effect on the health care system comes from far, far more than that and far more reasons than that. And really, it does come back to this idea of intensity of service use and the fact that whatever else seems to be happening in, in the health system, we use more and more services over time. I think the most important discussion we can have about health care really is about this value, the idea of value for money. The, the main question we ought to be asking is, is this producing more quality of life? Is it producing better outcomes? Is the population's health improving? Might we want to start considering spending in some other areas? And of course we need to keep working to make the health care system more efficient.